Hey up everybody. Well, today then, I've had to drop off my pleasurable work, uh, i.e. my steam loco and my marker lathe that I'm building to do a bit of a job on car. Um, I thought I'd just show you this, it, it might help somebody uh, that's got a similar car with a similar problem. So what I'm up to then here, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on the tailgate of the car here where the hinge tailgate is. It's a Hyundai i10 and I suppose other cars of a similar build and a similar make perhaps might have the same problem or eventually get the same problem. So what it is then, about a year back I had a problem with my central locking wouldn't work. Every time I put the wiper on it would fuse the fuse uh, and the brake lights were intermittent. So what I did back then, a year back, I, I, to cut a long story short, I traced it down to the problem being here. Because this rubber boot is constantly flexing and as you close the, the tailgate, the PVC around the wires has gone a bit hard and as it's continually flexing, when I, when I cut into this rubber boot, I found that three or four of the wires actually broke completely. One was shorting out, that was the rear wiper. And then the others that hadn't broke, the PVC on some of them had cracked and you could see the bare wires. So what I did back then, I did a quick repair by just putting some connectors in. Now it's a bit fiddly here because you've not got much room and there's not much wire to spare. So, just to do a quick job, I put four connectors in, connected it all back up, insulated the wires that were cracked, put it back together and it's worked for a year till I took it for MOT yesterday uh, to find out that the brake lights wasn't working again. So, um, again, I've traced, I've traced the fault back to here. So another one of the wires have broke. You've got limited space to work. The more connectors you put in this point, it's getting more bulkier. Uh, I'm going to get into the wiring loom, cut, cut this out and put some fresh wires in so that uh, there's no connectors in this part. So what you've got to do then, you've just got to get this rubber boot out and obviously you're going to have to, well I had to split it to repair it last time. Um, if you've not already split it, you might get away with unthreading that off without splitting it. So you've got to take this rear panel out, well not out, but just release it, to get to the plug on the wiring loom here. So I've undone that plug, so now all the wiring up to this tailgate is dead. If you're not going to undo that plug, you've got to take the negative off the battery so you've got not got no power going through these wires. Because it might fuse, you know, other things if you don't. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to thread my wires through. Let me just do that. I'm going to cut this off, solder a new set of wires on and then on the other end where I've put the new wires in I'll have to put connectors in that's going to connect somewhere in this panel down here so I've got new wires coming through this part. But what's important really, there's, um, there's different thickness of gauge wires here, there's 12 wires in this loom uh, some's of a thicker gauge and some's just very thin so there's probably just signal wires uh, so you've got to try and get them gauges matched up or you might overload the wires if you don't so I'm going to have a look through my box of wiring try and match up as near as I can the colours and also match the gauge of the wire up 
Because if you put all thick gauge in, obviously gonna then you're gonna get a bigger clump of wires coming through this bit here. Right, I've got a box of wire in here, so what I do if if I'm if anybody's getting rid of a washing machine or a tumble dryer or anything like that, a domestic appliance, I just cut all the wires out and save them. And you get various thicknesses and various colours then. What I've done then, I've I've took a note of the wires in the wires in the harness, the colour codes and the thickness, whether they you know thick, thin or medium. Been through my box of wires and I've come up with all these wires that's as near as I can to the colouring. Okay, then I've got all my my new wires cut. I've cut approximately ten or eleven inch. I can then solder one end onto here, thread it all back in, bring the wires through, then put uh, connectors on this end, connect them to this, and then the connectors will be in the panel at the back here with the new wires coming through. Obviously I had to cut my rubber boot when I repaired them first time so if you've not actually done any repairs as such at the moment to them you should be able to get that rubber boot off when you've snipped this and then thread it all back on before you put the connectors back on I've got all the wires soldered on at the top end and I was going to put connectors on this bottom end and I think I think I might solder the wires on onto this plug like I've done at the top right so before I solder these wires with the plug on to this end I've got to make up this uh, rubber boot so I've got a bit of bicycle inner tube here I'm going to tie wrap that to one end of that plug that rubber bung and then tie the other one to this end to give me that to make that rubber boot up okay then I've got all the wires soldered back onto this bottom half with a plug um, threaded it through the hole in the top put the rubber grommets back and I've just put this piece of cycle in a tube with some tie wraps around it uh, so uh, I'm ready for connecting it up now and trying it Well that's it then, uh, everything's back together and working okay. So uh, if you found that useful, interesting, etc, etc, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching, bye for now.